we're doing here today is we're completing basically our IBI survey on the Minnesota River. So that's the basically the index biotic integrity. We're trying to measure the health of the fisheries within this system, which is something that we do on an annual basis. And to accomplish this, we basically have 10 stations spread throughout the Minnesota River. And we use a boom shocker electrofishing boat to do that. And for those of you that aren't familiar with electrofishing, it's just a method of sampling. Typically we would use nets or seines or maybe even trot lines to sample. But one of the techniques that we use is called electrofishing. And in a nutshell, this is fishing with electricity. And what happens when we do that, we have a boat that has a generator mounted in it. So we have a generator in the boat, and then we also have an electrofishing control box, which is attached directly to the generator, which allows us to control the electrical output that goes into the water. And when this thing is operating, the boat itself, again, the simple positive and negative parts of electricity here, the boat itself acts as the cathode, or the negative, and the cables up front act as the positive, or this is what we call the anode. So as we run the generator, it's producing electricity through the control box, and that electrical output is basically put into the water through the cables so that you have an electrical field created. And any fish that is within the electrical field will respond to that field either by becoming completely what we call narcissized, which is uh, knocked out or floating, or the, our galvanotaxis is what, where the fish is actually forced swimming and they're pulled to the animal. And ultimately, with electrofishing, you need to see the fish to catch it. This is what we're doing when we dip the fish. So we need to try to put the correct amount of current in the water so that fish that are hit by the electrical field are completely pulled to the field and then knocked out in a position that allows us to net those fish. And we simply then take those fish, we net the fish, put them into a holding tank in the boat, the fish recuperate within a matter of seconds to maybe a couple of minutes at most. We weigh and measure the fish and then we release the fish. And we will do this through our IBI. We're trying to sample, uh, we'll make three runs per station. It's a 500 foot or 500 meter station. And we do the right bank, we do the right, left bank, and then we shock down the middle. And again, these are uh, parameters that were set up by the Pollution Control Agency that now we're using to incorporate into our sampling as well. So I'm going to take a measure of the conductivity of the water here, and that'll tell us how well it's going to conduct electricity. So we can alter our settings on the electrofishing box back there and hopefully catch more fish. Pretty simple test, just drop the probe in there and wait for the number to stabilize. Five six three weighs three thousand three hundred.